go. See the snow coming in over the top of the door? That's mental. So unlike a couple of weeks ago where we had, you know, five feet of snow up along the, the side of my house and uh, up to the pillars coming in the gate, um, you know, and snow drifts maybe 10 or 12 feet high. Um, we've got maybe an inch of snow on the ground now if we're lucky, but it's cold. It's zero degrees or thereabouts, minus two last night. Um, okay, so I want to light the stove and I want to get some antifreeze and stuff like that into the, uh, the Peugeot to finish off the job I started last night. So I'm going to do that now. So I wanted to work on my boiler stove today. Um, you know, it won't take a lot to finish it. Uh, it's practically done. But I need a bit of space in here. And I need to get that right on, you know, the tractor mower, put that outside and so on. And I can't actually do that at the minute because it's snowing. So, um, I did notice with my stove here, with this one, I have it running without the burner because I wanted just to, to uh, burn shop waste, sawdust, that sort of thing. And uh, I threw in a load of sawdust and it wasn't burning the best. It's not designed for that. I, c I could make something better for burning shop waste. However, it's running absolutely brilliantly, minus the burner. There's no burner in it, just uh, I did a bit of a maneuver and I'm gonna show you how I did that now. Here we go. Okay, this thing is red hot now. So just before I get some tea, I'll just show you the setup in here. Okay, I'm dripping oil straight into this. There is no burner in there. What you're seeing here is a car brake disc um, off a different project. This is a grate that I made up, again for a different project, and a little plate that was an off cut off one of the projects I did. So again, these are just bits and pieces I literally just picked, off, uh, picked up out of a corner. Uh, I'm dripping oil into all of this. Um, okay, let me show you this. Okay, you can hear that roar, can't you? But here we go, look, um, I'll close this one so I'm not pulling in too much air. Now I've pushed that door all the way through, um, so it's, it's allowing in some air. But look, what we have here, car brake disc, some rebar w fashioned or welded into a great shape, uh, GRATE, um, bit of a, of a plate, a bit like what you'd have on a gas stove, and the air coming up through my separator plate here. So, so that's my separator plate with maybe a five inch hole Four, four and a half inch hole in the middle of it. Okay, and I'm dripping oil down through it into the bottom and the whole thing is red hot. And when I close it, the whole unit is actually working as a burner. Uh, normally I put a burner on that um, separator plate and, uh, and it works fantastic. This time around, I don't have the burner and it's still working fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna get some tea. Okay, so bag okay so we have snow out here all right so it's not warm all right we've got one and a half degrees on the wall of the house and obviously the snow will be around zero or something there you go 0 0.8 so cold out Okay, that's the Peugeot I was working on last night, but um, I need to charge the battery, so I'm just charging the battery in it. And there's actually snow falling, if you can see it. It's coming over the top of the, the rotary door and, uh, and in here, and it's rusting my beams. I need to sort that out. So the separator plate in this, you know, gets a big volume, gets forced through, you get a bit of mixing, and it, it expands out on the other side, but mixing even better. If there's something in the way, you know, like um, car brake disc or something, that gets red. And again, the gases, any unburned gases, hit that red hot surface, get agitated more, and burn better. So it, it works really well. But at the moment, minus a burner, just a few bits and pieces thrown in there, I actually have, you know, uh, a very clean burn. And we're just dripping waste oil into it. I had intended earlier on to burn, um, you know, sawdust. It was wet sawdust, but um, I don't have the space in that unit. I'd need a bigger unit. I'd need something like a barrel if I was going to do that and drip oil in on it as well. Preferably, you know, sawdust doesn't need anything if you got it hot enough. So look, it's cold out here today. I can see my breath in here, even though the temperature is rising nicely. And my trousers are actually, <laughs> I can smell them. You know, so they're, they're getting very hot. So, uh, and I'm, you know, four feet from here. This jacket needs to come off as well. But look, I'm going to show you the smoke situation on the roof. Here we go. 
Okay, so there you go. There's a good view of the smoke or lack of it on the roof. I see a bit of steam off the lower end, but all right. And uh, that thing has to be red hot, or best part of it. Anyway, look, no smoke. The flame is nice, bright yellow. And the whole thing is working like it's got a burner built onto it, which it sort of does. So it's getting nice and warm in here. You know, we've got snow outside, a bit of snow on the roof, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and 20, 30, 40 mile an hour winds at times. So, um, you know, the shed is great at breaking down the wind so they don't have any wind in here. Sort of. <laughs> I have snow blowing, still blowing over the top of the door. So, um, you know, when the weather gets a bit better, I'll put something in place to stop that happening again. And also, where these vertical sheets meet the roof, purposely, they have little gaps. And, uh, you know, they're, they're protected by the overhang. The reason for the gaps then is because it's a steel shed, it, it condensates and it's to help dry it out. The problem for me is that when it snows or if it rains, you know, I'm on top of a hill. If it comes in horizontal, it gets over that. Oh, I have to move and I have to move this camera as well. Okay, very hot. It's after burning the part of the glass, partly clean anyway. Look, this is a great little burner. I know it's a bit of a Frankenstein, you know, oil drum, uh, propane bottle and all of that, but it, it could have been made work on either of them, either the propane bottle or the, the, uh, the oil drum. No problem whatsoever. Uh, the reason for this was I had it in my head that I wanted to be able to cook on it, uh, heat plates, you know, like uh, brake discs or bearings or whatever. And, um, and I can certainly do that if I want. Um, absolutely hammering out heat, which is fantastic. So I'm out in the shed again. The Franken stove is working absolutely brilliantly. I don't have the burner unit in it. I've managed to get it working without the burner, so fewer parts in it now. And uh, absolutely hammering out heat. And like I've shown a few minutes ago, there's zero smoke on the roof. Zero. You know, okay, so when it's building up the temperature, there might be a little smoke, like when you light a coal fire or something. But when you get it up the temperature, there's no smoke. Okay, so absolutely red hot now. Back in the stove, absolutely cherry red. So I'm able to make a ton of heat with this burner unit. I know it looks a bit mad, but in principle, it's very simple. You could make it out of an oil drum, you could make it out of a propane bottle, no problem whatsoever. But um, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, the next video, I will get moving on the, the waste oil boiler, you know, where I can use it. Um, using similar burners to this one, or at least what used to be in it, um, I produce lots and lots of hot water. Again, free because the, the white oil is free. So I'll leave it there. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here maybe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much for dropping by. Good luck.